Hello everyone, it is me for your art lesson today. And we are, will be starting a new artist this week in school so that you are ready for next week when we continue our art lesson. You can have a little go at the activity that we will be doing in school together. So our artist for this half term that we are going to be looking at is on the screen now and that is Barbara Hepworth. OK, so we're going to have a little look at her this week and the kind of art that she produces. So Barbara Hepworth produces sculptures. So we're going to be doing something a little bit different in art this half term. So sculptures are 3D objects. So they have a length, a width and a height. So they have three dimensions. So it might look exactly like a person or an object or a thing. So it might look exactly like that or it might be a shape. That the artist creates okay so that's what we're looking at this half term we are looking at sculptures now right so barbara hepworth was an english artist and sculptor okay she was british um, and she was born in yorkshire which is in england um, she was only 15 so only just a little bit older than all of you um, when she decided to become a sculptor um, now most of her work is abstract so that means it's not exactly like a person or a thing or an object. It's not an exact replica of that. And it's not an accurate depiction of that. So it's not like something real, but instead she uses shapes um, and forms and marks to, to make her sculptures um, using her inspirations. So she had lots and lots of inspiration. So she was inspired by nature and the world around us and places that she visited so it might have been like the countryside or the seaside and she took inspiration for that for the kind of shapes that she created from her sculptures um, she also traveled to places like greece which she loved and she uh, lots of her sculptures were inspired by the architecture and monuments that she traveled to so again they wouldn't be exactly like those they were just inspiration for her so here you can see some of the types of sculpture that Barbara Hepworth did. Um, some of them are displayed outside, some of them are displayed in museums. Um, lots of them had holes in as well. Um, so th this was the kind of style that Barbara Hepworth went with. Um, so you can have a look at some of those there, which will help you today. There's also going to be a link on Jojo. So there'll be a link to this video to help you, but also a link on Dojo, which is all about Barbara Hepworth and her work. Um, and that will help you with the work that I'm going to introduce to you in a moment. So when you're looking at Barbara Hepworth's work, so you can look at the sculptures that I've just showed you, or you can look at some online or on the link that I've sent you. I want you to think about these questions because, again, that is going to help you with what, I'm, what we're going to do this week in school and that you could have a go at it at home. So things like how do they make you feel? Um, does it remind you of anything or does it just look like lots of strange shapes to you? Or does it remind you of maybe a person or a thing? So things that you like and dislike. What do you think the sculpture is trying to show? So if you think about the kind of inspiration that Barbara Hepworth had, nature and outside and places that she travelled to, what do you think that the art, the sculpture that she's created is trying to show? This was an interesting one. So how would you describe the sculpture to somebody? So maybe you could look and then describe it to somebody at home and then show them afterwards. And they could tell you if that's what they had in their head or maybe they could draw it while you're describing it. Um, and then some adjectives. Remember, adjectives are describing words that you would use to describe the artwork. Um, and again, that one will help you um, with the work that I'd like you to have a look at today. So we've done this before in school. So you should already have some ideas of the kind of thing that it should look like. So creating an artist page all about Barbara Hepworth. OK, so because you haven't got things that we've cut out, you or pictures or anything like that, that's absolutely fine. But if you've just got a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil or anything that you've got at home that you could write with or write on, um, then you could have a go at creating your own artist page. So you could use the information on the link that I've sent you um, and also use the link, uh, use the information on the video that I, on this video um, to help you to create an artist page about Barbara Hepworth. OK, so you could, inf like we always do, so some information about Barbara Hepworth, which again is on this video that you've just watched and also on the link that I've sent you. So things that inspired her, things that she liked, where she was from, um, 
when she became a, a, a sculptor, where she studied maybe, anything interesting that you can find about Barbara Hepworth onto your artist page. You could also, um, like some of these examples that you can see on here, do your own drawings of Barbara Hepworth's work. And then you could respond to some of the questions that we talked about. So how does it make you feel? How would you describe it? If you like it, if you dislike it, if you do like or dislike it, give some reasons why. And you could write that next to it like we do when we do our artist pages in school. OK, so there's some examples there. I'm sure you'll have your own creative ideas because your artist pages are also always absolutely brilliant. Um, use the information on the other link that I've sent you that is all about Barbara Hepworth. Um, and then use these examples to help you too. And then you can, like I say, do your own little drawings and write around the side of them what you like, what you dislike, how you describe them. Um, some information about Barbara Hepworth. Maybe you could draw Barbara Hepworth like some of these ones have on here. Draw what she looks like and write some information about her and create your very own artist page all about Barbara Hepworth. If you'd like to send some photos in on Dojo to us to show us, then we'd absolutely love to see them. Um, so enjoy. Barbara Hepworth is a really interesting um, artist to look at and it's different than the kinds of things that we've looked at already in school. So it should be really exciting for you. Um, so enjoy and um, looking forward to seeing any of, you, any of your work that you've sent in.